what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel today it has been a beautiful day after christmas day which has been almost 70 degrees here in southwest missouri and it has been wonderful been able to work out in the shop out here all day with the doors up and it's just something you don't get to do it at the end of december very much in missouri so guys i've got some huge updates on the 86 which is right here and my car and some huge plans for this year Plus, at the end of the video, and if you guys aren't interested in this, it will not be Fox Body related. I've got some personal news that I want to share with you as well. of what the plans are for this 86 Mustang GT back here and if you missed the previous video where I was really scratching my head trying to get this thing running you want to go ahead and click that card now and then come back to this video guys as we all know life and priorities change and that is part of what just living life is about is adapting to change so this 86 GT that you see right here it was planned all along to be Peyton's car but Peyton has decided to wait to get a fox body for now he has other priorities right now in his life being a newly married guy he's got a job that he's focusing on new wife they got a lot of focus and a lot of priorities going on right now and it's just really tough for him to dedicate any time and money to be able to invest into a fox body and a hobby and we all have been there so what are we going to do with 86 that's part of what we're going to talk about on today's video plus some important news about how the 86 will play a big role into what we do with my 91. Okay guys, so I got this car running pretty dang good. It's running and driving. I took it down the road. Now when you get it on a, get any kind of load on the car, it does bog a little bit. So there's still some tuning that needs to be done on this car, but that actually really doesn't matter now. And the car running and driving, now, I did get a few more details on this motor. It's got a TFS Stage 1 head. It is actually a built bottom in, forged bottom on this car that is built to handle boost. So this motor probably has just a few hundred miles on it since it's completely been rebuilt. If you look under this car, the transmission, motor, everything is freshly painted, not a drip hole. Everything's been redone. So we got an amazing motor here that just needs to be sorted out. So let's get to that. So this car has a really nice setup on it, but I think what I want to do with this car, and I might still keep it, but the plans are right now is I'm going to sell this car. But it's going to be a while before I sell the car. And who knows, by the time I get all this done, I might have enough labor into this thing and sweat equity into this thing that I just want to keep it. So here's the plans as of today of what we're going to do with this 86 and then also how that affects what I'm going to do with my 91. So I was talking on the phone with my really good buddy, Nick. He's the guy who owns the two-tone Cobra clone that I built right here on the channel. Great friend and has some great advice. Hey, so Michael, since this car has a built motor that's fresh and you're going to take this car and I want to go ahead and return it to basic stock form, he said, why don't you just pull this motor and swap it with the motor on the 91? I was like, you know, Nick, that is not a bad idea. Really? It makes a lot of sense because guys as you know we're going to be supercharging the 417 fox this year also this car has holly system axe heads on it too my car just has gt40 three bar heads on it so some nice heads tfs one stage cam built bottom in go into the 417 fox with a supercharger i'll still keep my tubular gt40 intake and all that and get an SCT chip tune by Leach Motorsports, my car will be ready to rock and roll. So I think that is the direction that I'm going right now. What do you guys think? Think that's a good idea? So if I'm cannibalizing this car to make the 417 Fox better, here's what I'm gonna do with this car. 
I'm going to take my motor, which is actually only a 100,000 mile motor car, and I'm going to take that motor with the GT43 bar heads, and I'm going to put it right here, and this will make this car still a fun car to drive, but make this a really nice daily driver, 86 GT, that who knows, I might keep, I might sell, I don't know. So anytime somebody has done a ton of work on a car, you gotta think what's been left undone, what's been pulled out. The good thing is the guy that did do all the work on this car left the harness. It's actually got an A9L in it, which is gonna be one of the most desirable computers because that's actually a post late 88, 89 uh, computer. That is a basically a mass air stick computer. So this car has been converted to an A9L already previously, and it's still in the car. All the harness is still in there. As we look, all the harness is still there. We've got our mass air hookup. We've got our TFS module connector. We've got our distributor plug. And the only thing we're really missing is, of course, all the stuff to make it back stock other than that. Which we're... So we still got a lot of stuff. If we take the long block out of my car and we put it in this car, we still got a lot of stuff that we need to kind of return this car to stock, right? So the Fitech, I'm not a fan. That's got to go. I'm going to sell that thing. That would be a great option for somebody that especially already has maybe a carbureted car that wants to upgrade to fuel injection. It's a standalone system, and that is a great option for somebody that needs something like that. And I'll offer somebody a heck of a deal on it just to send it on down the line because it's basically brand new. And this Power9, I'm not really going to need it, so I'm going to send it on down the line, especially somebody who loves the old school Power 9. These things are great blowers, but they only put out about six pounds of boost, and this one works just fine, so it'd be a really low cost option. It's also self contained to send it down the line also to somebody that's doing a low cost supercharger build that also wants more of the old school style and look. It's always a good thing when you got a really good friend who has an amazing stash of stock Fox body parts. And I have that friend in Matt Kinsey. If you guys missed that video where we went together and he bought two storage bins worth of stock Fox body parts, you guys gotta click that card and go check that video out. We had a blast, but it was a lot of work. Man, we had a lot of stuff good. We had a lot of good stuff in there too. So I went shopping at Matt Kinsey's Fox body parts store. So let's go see what I got. I was able to get about 95% of everything we're gonna to need to get this car back to stock. Guys can see Matt had already given me these Flowmaster exhaust tips. These are gonna make this car look so much better because the ones that are on it are pretty corroded. We've got a stock lower here, which of course you can see we've got our fuel rails, our heater lines, we've got fuel pressure regulator, all of our sensors that we need. Everything's already ready to go. We're gonna pull that off. We've got a GT40 upper and lower here from an Explorer. That's what we're gonna put on the car. See, I also have a stock upper here that I picked up at Matt's, but it's got the EGR plate and of course the stock throttle body that we're gonna put on the car. We also have an injector harness. We've got a stock distributor. This is a Motorcraft and Motorcraft TFS module. We've got an MSD ignition if I need it. We've got our stock accessory bracket. Also, we've got a brand new in the box cold air intake kit. So all that was compliments of shopping at Matt's Fox Body Performance Parts. Also, I have something else I wanna show you guys. Matt gave me my Christmas present while I was over there, so let me show you that. Of course, I'm gonna need this for my car, for the 417 Fox, whenever I install the supercharger. We got a Ford Racing three pod cluster here. And check this out. This is, book was put out in 2003. It's brand new. It's celebrating 10 years of SVT. So all of the SVT history, how it came to be, and the cars that they produced for the first 10 years. Pretty cool book. Thank you, Matt. And a couple other things I picked up, guys. I picked up a set of 10 holes from a guy that I would call my friend now. He's actually a previous customer of mine. I realized that when I reached out to him, picked these up in the Tulsa area. He's also a firefighter, cool dude. I'll show you a pic of his car. He's got an amazing coupe. So I picked up these 10 holes from him over in Tulsa while I was in that area. And these are gonna take this car right back to more of a stock look, which I like. Well guys, you'll also see this car has a four point roll bar in it. And as you can see, 
they have had to, had to chop up the quarter plastics to do that. And I don't know what they did this back here for. And you'll see right back here, Peyton actually picked these up in Sedalia for me. So we'll paint these to the original color and these quarter plastics are in crate shape. And we'll get those put in here, pull that roll bar out. And we're gonna have a pretty dang nice car. So guys, that's all the updates. That's the grand plan right now. What do you think? This could change a little bit, but as of right now, I think we've got a pretty dang solid plan. I'll be able to upgrade the 417 Fox by taking some of the better stuff out of this car. We're still not downgrading this car by taking a great motor already that's in my car, throwing it in there, taking this car back to stock form. I think it's gonna be an amazing car, and then this car is gonna be bad to the bone once I get everything installed. I can't wait to do this. Unfortunately, I got other projects ahead of this, and it's right behind you. You guys watch the channel, you know what I'm talking about. Hopefully, maybe March, April, that's when I'm really gonna be able to dig into these cars and get these cars done pretty quick and get these motors swapped out. All right, boys, I'm about to share that personal knowledge, but outside of that, we're wrapping this video up on the car stuff and then we'll get to the personal stuff. Oh, by the way, thank you, Andrew. I appreciate the banner, buddy. I know you'll watch this video. You know I love you, man. Okay, guys, so here's something that I really debated if I even wanted to share this with you because it is something more of a, uh, because it is something more of a personal nature, but I kind of feel like we're all family. And at the end of the day, the reason why I'm going to share it with you guys, because I need you to help me hold myself accountable. And what I mean by that is, and I'm not a big new year's resolution guy, but this is going to be a new year for my wife and I, we are really gonna make some lifestyle changes when it comes to being healthier. And guys, I'm, I, you know, it's obvious I'm overweight and overweight, it affects me in a lot of ways. And I wanna be able to do more. Guys, I'm 45 years old and I need to lose some weight. And I figure if I share it on here and I kind of do it at the end of the video, so if it's something you guys don't wanna see, don't wanna, don't wanna look at, that's cool. But I'm gonna start sharing with you at the end of each video how I'm doing. And by me doing that, that will also help me hold myself accountable to you guys. So I appreciate any encouragement you can give me because it's gonna be a journey. It's not something that happens overnight. And if I figure if I can tie that in to me also doing these videos for you guys, and I put it at the end of each video and I'll say, hey, here's my progress. Here's how, where I was and here's, how, and here's where I'm at now. I want you guys to see what my progress is. Not so much for you guys, but for me, because I wanna be held accountable by you guys. And I appreciate if you could help me out through this journey. So guys, hopefully you're okay with that. And like I said, I'm just gonna put that at the very end of each video. It's not to get you guys to, that's not to get you guys to stick around to watch the end of the video. I just don't want that to be a part of the video, but that also gives me the opportunity to put it there and put it out and let it be public because if I'm putting it up there to be public, I'm probably gonna work pretty hard, right? Because I put on some weight, boys, and I need to get skinnier, because being fat, it sucks. I don't fit into these cars real well when I'm this size, so. <laughs> so guys, I appreciate all the support you guys have given the channel this year. It's been an amazing year. We've truly been blessed. My wife and I, our family, have had an amazing blessing of a year, and I'm looking forward to 2022 to be even that much more of a blessing. I feel like I'm truly part of the Fox Body family and you guys have taken me in with open arms and I thank you for that. So for now, I'll see you guys on the next one and look for the next one. That's when I'm gonna give you my first weight and progress. So, cause the next video I'll put out will actually be in the new year. See you guys then.